Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Linux Mensch. So today I'm going to do a base install of the Arch Linux operating system. And I've, as you can see on the screen, I've already downloaded, previously downloaded, and I've booted into the ISO. And this is a TTY installation. It's a what you would might call a manual TTY installation. There's no installer, so I'm going to have to type in all the commands. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the font larger. So I'm going to type in this command. That font here dash 132n. Ah, beautiful. Now I'm going to set the time and date for the system. Time, date, control, set, dash, NTP, through. Now I'm going to format the hard drive. And by the way, this is a virtual machine. It gave it a 40 gig hard drive and four gigs of RAM. So I'm going to use CF disk. I'm going to type in CF disk. I'm going to use my arrows to go down to DOS. I'm going to make it a DOS format. Now, as you can see on the top, it says free device free space. And it's a 40 gig hard drive. So I'm going to use my arrow so you can use your arrow keys to maneuver around at the bottom of the screen i'm going to highlight new hit enter now it says partition size 40 gig i'm going to backspace and delete that i'm going to put 200 and a capital m because i'm going to make a partition for booting into the system or it's properly called a boot partition and i'm going to hit enter Primary, yes. I'm going to use my arrows to highlight bootable and enter. Then I'm going to use my arrows to highlight right, hit enter. I'm going to type in the word yes. Now I'm going to use my arrows to go down to the free space and make sure the new is highlighted, hit enter. And as you can see, the rest of the partition is going to be 39.8 gigabytes. That's going to be my hard drive for the, this new virtual machine. So I'm going to hit enter. Primary, yes. I'm going to use my arrows to highlight bootable. Hit enter. I'm going to use my arrows to go to right, highlight right, enter. And I'm going to type in the word yes. Hit enter. I'm going to use my arrows to go down to maneuver over to the word quit, hit enter, and we're ready to move on. Now I'm going to type in these commands, mk, fs, period, ext4, slash dv, slash vda1. Now if you were installing this on bare metal, you probably would want to type SDA1. But because this is a virtual machine, I'm typing in VDA1. Hit enter. Now I'm going to type in MKFS here EDXT4 slash dev VDA2. Hit enter. Now I'm going to mount my uh, new devices. So I'm going to type in mount slash dev VDA VDA2 slash MNT. Now I'm going to type in make dear slash MNT slash boot hit enter now i'm going to type in mount dev 
BDA1, MNT2. So now I've mounted my uh, partitions. I'm going to go and select the mirrors. Now Arch Linux has around 800 mirrors. So I'm going to download all the mirrors and I'm going to from the Arch Linux repository and I'm going to select uh, three mirrors that are not too far from where I live. So I'm going to type in this command curl dash O. Now that's an O and not a zero. ETC Pacman D slash mirror list HTTPS colon slash slash and I got it typed that right arch Linux dot org mirror list all oops all flash and hit enter and if i did it right it will download all the mirrors now i'm going to use a text editor you can you can use nano or you can use vim and there's a few others out there but i like to use vim so i'm going to vim into it vim etc pacman d slash mirror list so there are all the mirrors that i downloaded now i'm just going to jump to the bottom just to show you that there is actually 800 mirrors oh actually it's there's 900 now these numbers count spaces, so there's not exactly 900 mirrors, but there are a lot of mirrors. So these are mirrors that are all over the world, so I'm going to select a few mirrors that I like to use. So I like to use hacking and coffee. I'm going to move that to the top of the list. I'm going to paste it and another thing to note that none of these mirrors are active as long as they have the number sign in front of them so to make to activate them you need to delete the number sign so i'm going to delete the number sign on that okay so i've activated that one mirror i'm going to go down and select a few more mirrors i'm going to hit the slash for the search button and i'm going to type in constant because that's another mirror I like. And I'm going to take it, jump to the top, paste it, delete the number sign to activate the mirror. And there's one more mirror I want to use. Now I know these mirrors, I'm familiar with them, I use them all the time, so I know how to search through the list to get them quickly. Delete that. Let's go to the top. Let's paste it. Let's delete the number sign. Let's go here and spade it out. So I have three mirrors here. Hacking and coffee. The second mirror is from Constant. And the third mirror is from the University of Waterloo in Canada. And all the mirrors down below, I'm not going to delete them because maybe one day I might want to use one of them. As long as the number sign is in front of them, they're deactivated and the system will ignore them. So I'm going to save my file. And the file has been written. Now I need to sync the mirrors. So I'm going to type in Pacman SYY. And that is going to sync the mirrors. So we're ready to move on, or ready to start our install. And I'm going to type in pack strap mnt base 
base the bell linux lts now linux is the kernel all linux distributions use the kernel now there's different kernels so different distributions use different kernels you can use the main stable kernel which would be linux but i like to use the linux lts kernel the lts stands for long-term support kernel so i'm going to download that you're going to want to get linux firmware i'm going to download vim and that's it for now and my install failed because I made a type a typing mistake. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, it's downloading. This download is going to take maybe two minutes, three at the most, maybe not even that. The Arch Linux repository downloads very, very fast. Uh, the Arch, Arch Linux, and if you want to call it installer or the package manager, that's the proper name. The Arch Linux package manager is very powerful. It's probably the fastest one in the Linux world. As far as I know. Okay, I paused the video for a little bit. And just while it was downloading, just to save some time. And it's finished. So now we're going to type in these commands gen f stab capital u slash mnt slash mnt oops, mnt slash etc f stab so now i'm going to sha root into the system i'm going to change root and which into the system. So I'm going to type in this command. Arch root slash mnt. So now I've switched into the system and whatever I download is going to actually be downloaded and installed on my new system. So now I'm going to set the local time. ln slash sf slash usr now don't do user with an e in it it's usr share zone info slash i'm going to type in america slash Toronto space slash etsy local time and hit enter next i'm going to type in vim which is my text editor slash etsy locale gen and i typed that wrong it's period gen so now i'm just going to scan down and i'm going to uncomment this english canada which will activate it I take the number sign out, it activates this English Canada. So I'm going to save the file. We click. There we go. It's written. Next, I'm going to type in locale gen. And this is generating my location, generation complete. Now I'm going to type in Vim. I'm going to go back into my text editor. Etsy locale month. Now I'm going to type in language equals, and you have to make sure that this first word lang is capitals. You have to type it in exactly as I'm putting it in, or the command won't work. En underscore ca period utf dash eight right so i saved it now i'm going to give my new system a name a host name i'm going to type in vim etsy 
both name. I'm going to give this a host name. I'm going to call it Arch. I'm going to save it the file. And I'm going to type in M-K-I-N-I-T-C-P-I-O slash, or sorry, dash, capital P. Now I'm going to set my root password. Password. Now, now you have to remember, don't put the O and the R in. Not password. It's pass WD. So it's asking me for the new password. I'm going to put a password in. It's asking me to retype it. I'm going to retype it. And now the root has its new password. Now I'm going to install Network Manager and Grub because we're going to need it. So I'm going to type in Pacman, capital S, Network Manager, and leave a space and type in Grub. Hit enter, and it's installing Network Manager and Grub. Now I'm going to enable Network Manager to work because without Network Manager, you won't have any internet. So I'm going to type in this command so that whenever I reboot the system, Network Manager automatically starts. System Control Enable Now net Network Manager Now notice that Network Manager is one word and the N in Network and the M in Manager have to be capitalized. Hit Enter and that's done. Now we're almost finished our base install. Just a few more commands. I'm going to grub. We need to have grub so we can boot into our system. Grub install. EV VDA. And of course, if you were installing this on bare metal in your computer, it would be SDA. In all likelihood. Not necessarily, but most likely. But because this is a virtual machine, it's V as in Victor, VDA. Okay, installation finished, no error reported. So Grub is installed. Now I gotta make Grub. So Grub make config base. Now notice this dash O. It's not a zero, it's an O, it's a small O. Dash O boot grub grub CFG. So it's generating grub and it's done. So now I'm going to exit the system. I'm going to unmount capital R. MNT. Now I'm going to reboot into my system. Reboot. And it's booting into the system now, but it's a base installation. There's no software installed, no uh, window manager, no desktop environment, and even no user. The only user I have in there is root. So I'm going to type in root. It's asking me to log in. Root. I'm going to put my password in. And now we're in the system. So this is a bare bones base installation of Arch Linux. I'm going to install a program called NeoFetch. And I type that wrong. Type in Pacman S NeoFetch. Yes, and that's installed. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to type in Neo Fetch. And there you have it. Arch Linux tells you the kernel I'm using, the uptime, it's been up for one minute, 165 packages that are running the system. It's using 112 megabytes out of four gigs of RAM or the way it's listed there it's 112 megabytes out of 3924 megabytes of RAM and I'm going to clear the screen 
I'm going to call up another software program that's already installed. It's called Top. And there it is. In the top left hand corner, you can see it's 3,924 megabytes of RAM, or otherwise known as 4 gig of RAM. And the second from the right and second from the bottom row, you can see I'm using 105 megabytes of RAM. So I'm going to quit out of there. I'm going to clear out the screen. I'm going to type in Neo Fetch. In my next video, I'm going to boot back into this system and I'm going to install software. I'm going to install window manager and a desktop environment. Thank you for watching my video. I am the Linux Mitch.